and welcome back to Twisted Glitter Boutique. I am Melissa and I'm going to teach you today how I do water slide images on a keychain. So I've got my acrylic blank here and I've already went ahead and I've glittered it. I used my glitter and UV resin mix on the back side and the front side is just the blank acrylic. You can see it's flat and blank. So you can purchase water slide paper on Amazon. Uh, there's a ton of different choices you can pick. You're gonna wanna make sure that you seal it. I purchased this crystal clear enamel, the Rust-Oleum. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, super easy. Shake up the can, spray it down, and uh, let it dry. Let it dry completely. Okay. So then you take your image and I cut it out. This is an image that I am using personally. I got it from from Google to use just for my own self and I cut around any of the excess here with my scissors. You can get pretty close to the image because I'm using a clear water slide and therefore there's no, nothing is going to show around the outside of this. So go ahead and uh, drop that in the water. This is just room temperature water in a shallow dish. I don't think the dish style or type matters all that much. Uh, this one particularly, I got it from Crate and Barrel. It is actually a uh, creme brulee dish. <laughs> so anything you have around the house should work just fine. But you're going to want that to soak for about 60 seconds. While that is finishing soaking, what you're going to want to do is, I got this silicone brush from the dollar store. I'm going to dip it in and just kind of get some water on my blank spread it around. This is the secret, I think, to making zero bubbles under your water slides. I This is just my personal belief that if the water slide goes on a dry blank, it's just creating air pockets underneath. Um, and if you use water, it's more likely to adhere down to that. I can see that the corner of this is starting to lift over here you can see it wiggling off there so I printed my designs um, backwards I reversed it you can see that the word is backwards there so I do this on purpose see now I've played with it too much and it's curling so I'll just flatten that out real fast um, I lost my water there and I'm just gonna flip it over downward onto the blank I'm gonna get it kind of where I want it centered up, and I'm just gonna smash it down. I smash it nice and tight down there on that, and you just press down, push presser, and wipe it away. There's that backing, and you can see that the image is on there. Now I dip this in the water a little bit, and then my E is a little twisted up because trying to show you guys and it got me all funky. There we go. Hold on to a little bit of the image while I slowly press that down. And just kind of squeegee out all the extra water that's underneath that that we had put on the blank. So squeegee out the extra water and any air bubbles that might be in there. In the beginning, if you don't kind of hold a piece of it, it might shift around on you but you'll notice once you get all of that water out from under there, it gets pretty solid pretty fast. Now you wanna be careful, you don't want anything to hang over the edges. See how my E is oops, really close to the edge right there? Um, we're gonna to wanna to take an X-Acto knife and cut that off to make sure there is no overhang. If you resin and it's reaching the edge with your water slide, it'll create some air pockets right at the edge of the resin and cause for some bubbles and make it look really unpleasant. So there's that. Now you do have to wait for this to completely dry before you can resin it. Sometimes I will throw my UV light on it and give it a couple runs under the light until I can see it starting to dry off if I'm working on multiple things at one time. Uh, other times I'll just stick it down. I can hear my heater running right now. I might stick it by the air conditioner or heat vent and just get some air on it. But you're just gonna wanna make sure that it's completely dry 
before you put any resin on that. I'm gonna take a second here. I told you about the overhang there with the X-Acto knife. I just kind of run it along the edge of it, making sure that if it does raise it up at all, you wanna kind of smooth it back out again. And you can, I don't know if you can see that, it's already starting to dry from only one time in the light. Uh, it wasn't even in there for a full minute and a half. So we'll give it some more time to dry and we'll check back. And you can see that it's all dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another coat of UV resin and just put it right over top of her. Right like that, should be about enough. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a silicone tipped brush that I got on Amazon just to spread this around. And I like to try to go uh, outwards. For the most part, that water slide image is is fairly solid on there. It's it's not permanent. It does need to be sealed again, but I don't have any issues with them as long as you have sealed it enough with that clear coat to start. I don't have any issues with it running or anything like that. Usually if you didn't use enough of the clear coat, you'll find out when you put it in the water the first time because you'll start seeing the colors run uh, and all of that. It'll be pretty clear. So you want to spread this out. Sorry if my head gets in the way of the camera. I just want to make sure that I don't miss any spots. And I might have to put a little bit more on there. It's always easier to add more if needed. You can never take it away, obviously. So don't be too generous with that to start off. Look at this. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and hit it with the lighter again, just to pop any air bubbles that might be in there. Some girls use a torch. Uh, ladies and gentlemen that do this, I cannot do it with a torch. Every time I've ever tried it with one, I just burn my resin. So I don't do that anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and take my UV light and I'm going to press that. 120 seconds three times that is what works for me come out crystal clear and smooth and that's it you can see a nice shiny glaze on there and that beautiful water slide image showing right through again I used a clear water slide so you don't see the background you don't see anything white at all on this so you really need a very white or light colored base in order to make this work out for you. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. I also forgot to mention that when I reverse my images and I print them backwards, I use um, Photoshop personally, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot of programs out there you could use to do that. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And don't forget to check me out on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and now TikTok.